We're rolling. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Jimmy V as in Versalino, and I am excited to be with each and every single one of you today. If you're visiting for the first time this channel, it's very simple. The mission is to educate veterans and active duty service members with all of their VA home financing needs. I have a lot of veterans that contact me from YouTube that have questions. Jimmy, what should I be doing and what should I not be doing when it comes to utilizing my VA loan benefit? And that's exactly what I want to do today is Roger up with all of you and talk about the VA loan do's, do these things over here, and don'ts, don't do these things over here, right? So that way you can have a streamlined VA mortgage loan experience, right? I want this to be a breeze for you guys all because you found this channel and that you said, damn, that Marine, man, he gave me some good intel so that way I can make sure that I can take advantage of my VA loan benefit because that's what I want. I want you guys to level up because you saw this information. Okay, so let's talk about the VA loan do's and don'ts. Here's what I want you to do. Do have a copy of your DD-214 on file. DD-214 is a very important document if you're a veteran because the lender is going to ensure that on box 24 you've been honorably discharged and that you're able to get a copy of your COE. So do have have your DD-214, don't get under contract without a copy of your DD-214. Because if you have to go to archives.gov and you don't have a copy of that, guess what's going to happen? It could delay your closing, potentially jeopardizing you losing the home, all right? So do have a copy of your, B your DD-214, don't get under contract without it. Next important do, do have a copy of your COE, that stands for Certificate of Eligibility. Don't go under contract without it, all right? And the reason why this form is so important is, is because it's a document that the lender will need that shows that you are eligible for the VA home loan. How do you get a copy of that? VA.gov, eBenefits portal, or Roger up with me, your mortgage lender, and we'll make sure that you have a copy of that as well. So now that you've got your DD-214 and you've got your COE, it's time to identify your lender. Do talk to more than one mortgage lender. Don't just work with anybody. Why is that important? Because, well, not everybody is a VA loan specialist like I am. You know, for example, you might work with a mortgage lender who dabbles in VA loans. Well, if they dabble in VA loans, they might not be aware of all of the important information that you need to know about. And guess what ends up happening? You step on a landmine and it blows up your transaction. And you're going, whoa. For example, I wouldn't go to a, um, uh, I don't know, an orthopedic surgeon for uh, foot pain. I'd go to a podiatrist, right? They're both MDs. They're both doctors. Same thing, right? You wouldn't go to a VA loan specialist if you were working on a portfolio jumbo loan. They're two different types of jobs, and that's exactly what I want for you. I want to make sure that you're working with a VA loan specialist. So do work with a VA loan specialist. Don't work with just anybody. Lastly, make sure that you've given your lender all of the appropriate documentation up front that they ask for. This is very important. The reason why it's so important is, is you don't want to have any potential issues come up later on in the transaction. So do make sure that you give your lender everything that they've asked for up front so that way your process will be streamlined from start to finish. Don't delay because the longer that we wait, the longer that we sit on our hands, that can end up showing itself later on in the transaction, potentially delaying your closing. So these are just some of the very simple do's and don'ts when it comes to a VA loan. Do make sure that you have a copy of your DD-214. Do make sure that you have a copy of your COE. Do make sure that you're uh, working with a mortgage loan originator who specializes in VA loans. And do make sure that you're checking out their reviews. Make sure that the lender or institution that you're working with has been vetted, that the internet has something positive to say about them, and most importantly, that you have a piece about who you're working with moving forward. Good to go. My name is Jimmy Versalino. For more questions, well, we have answers. Drop your questions down below in the comment box, and I personally will make sure that they're answered for you. Talk to you soon.